of Americans have turned to prescription medications to lose weight. Their actual name are GLP-1. 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 This is truly a revolution in the field of medicine. Imagine a world where people live longer, healthier lives. A world where obesity and its related illnesses are footnotes in medical textbooks. I did, and I realized that this isn't some distant, unattainable dream. It's a potential reality that scientists are actively researching, fueled by millions of dollars in funding. And it's thanks to a class of medications known as GLP-1s. No question, GLP-1 weight loss drugs are popular. One in eight American adults say they have taken a GLP-1 drug. So what is this research showing? Can GLP-1s truly revolutionize and improve our health and our society? Let's explore. Welcome to Shapeshifting. Throughout history, medical breakthroughs have fundamentally changed our world and our lives. The invention of antibiotics, the development of vaccines, and now we're witnessing another transformative moment with GLP-1 receptor agonists. To understand their impacts, you first need to understand what GLP-1s are and how they work. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, but this series has been co-written by them. GLP-1s, or glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists, represent a quantum leap forward in how we think about treating obesity. Originally developed to treat type 2 diabetes, they have rapidly evolved into the most powerful weight management tools in modern medicine. These drugs work by mimicking a hormone that targets the pancreas as well as nerves in the brain and the gut. The main organs involved in appetite regulation and gastric emptying, or more simply, they give you the feeling of fullness and reduce your hunger. I only found out about GLP-1s when they were suddenly everywhere, but they aren't a new technology. As it turns out, patients have been using GLP-1s to manage diabetes for over two decades. During that time, doctors noticed something interesting. Their patients were losing weight and not just a little bit, significant amounts. Some lost over 5% of their body weight. For years, doctors and researchers have been searching for a solution to address quickly rising obesity rates. And it was right there in front of them. GLP-1's impact on weight proved to be an exciting treatment to a growing problem. But what's really impressive is the adoption of these drugs over the last four years. It has been nothing short of astronomical. But as we stand on the precipice of this potential health revolution, it does make me think, are we really heading towards a utopia where GLP-1s create a healthier, more vibrant society for all? Or is there a catch? For starters, metabolic health is not just a US problem. It's a global concern. The numbers are staggering. Over two-fifths of the world is overweight or obese. That is billions of people, and the cost is just as high. In America, overweight and obesity alone cost $260 billion annually in medical bills. Globally, that number could reach a staggering $4.32 trillion, according to the World Obesity Federation. I was shocked to find out that in 2022, 43% of adults and 20% of children and adolescents around the world met the BMI criteria for the medical condition being overweight. Another 16% of adults and 8% of children had a BMI meeting the criteria for obesity. Addressing obesity is not only a matter of aesthetics, it is crucial for preventing a cascade of potential health problems that can severely diminish someone's quality of life and longevity. Obesity is linked to a higher risk of a bunch of serious health problems like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers. Moderate obesity is associated with a reduction in life expectancy of about three years, while severe obesity can shorten lifespan by up to 14 years. That's the kind of damage you do being a lifelong smoker. If GLP-1s can help reverse the trend, we're looking at a major shift in public health. But this isn't just about weight. These drugs work like a molecular Swiss army knife. In the heart, improving blood flow in the brain, reducing inflammation, and in the immune system, calming chronic inflammation. 
The applications beyond weight loss and diabetes are still being studied, but the results have been promising. GLP-1s are revolutionizing how we treat not just obesity, but potentially addiction and other conditions driven by powerful cravings. They have the potential to help people regain control over their impulses, something that has become increasingly challenging in our modern world of abundance. They're even showing promise in treating Alzheimer's, reducing brain shrinkage by almost 50% and cognitive decline by up to 18% in early trials. These medications are materially changing patient outcomes and forcing us to reimagine the very foundations of how healthcare works. By reducing hunger cues and in turn caloric intake, many GLP-1 users are losing weight and fast. Think of our current healthcare system like a game of whack-a-mole. We're constantly reacting, treating heart disease here, managing diabetes there, addressing joint problems and sleep apnea somewhere else. But what if we could address one of the root causes? GLP-1s may be the key. In a groundbreaking study spanning 41 countries, over 17,600 people taking GLP-1s experienced life-changing results. Not only did they shed 10% of their body weight, but their risk of serious health events, heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiac complications dropped by 20%. But here's the most fascinating part. Their hearts started getting healthier long before the weight began to come off. This isn't just about adding years to life, it's about adding life to those years, while freeing people from both the physical and financial burden of chronic health conditions. It doesn't stop there though. The ripple effects of this breakthrough could reshape not just ourselves, but entire industries forever. From fashion to food to healthcare, even travel, a metabolically healthy population could change everything. But everything for who? If GLP-1s have the potential to reshape society, we'll first need to confront a harsh reality, health inequality. Despite the promise of GLP-1s, access to these potentially life-changing medications is far from equal across communities affected by obesity. In the US, minority communities have higher than average rates of chronic diseases, but limited access to not just affordable healthcare, but quality food and information. If we really want to see the full impact of a healthier society, we need to address these root issues first. Let's look at the numbers. 49.9% of black adults are affected by obesity. 45.6% of Hispanic adults. 41.4% of white adults, 16.1% of Asian adults. In fact, four out of five African-American women are overweight or obese. Yet the communities that could benefit the most from GLP-1s are more likely to have difficulty accessing them. Here is where it does get tricky. What about our relationship with our bodies? What happens when being thin becomes medicalized? As millions experience rapid weight loss, it's not without its share of unexpected consequences. And this is a critical point. Rapid weight loss can have an impact on mental health and body image. Research suggests that GLP-1 users experience significant body changes that impact their entire life, not just their looks. That much weight loss causes changes in your physique and your state of mind. While you'd think that this will come with a confidence boost, a new look and rapid weight loss creates pressure to maintain a new slimmer body. And this could lead to restrictive dieting, excessive exercise, or worsen the symptoms of body dysmorphic disorder. Body image problems are nothing new. Even before GLP-1s, unrealistic beauty and health standards have had a major impact on mental health. They negatively impact self-esteem and body image and could lead to an increased risk of disordered eating, anxiety, and depression. Then there's the societal stigma. News headlines often include derogatory terms when describing the physical side effects of GLP-1s, referring to the hollow or sagging features caused by rapid weight loss. These messages are harmful and undermine the efforts of GLP-1 users. While many feel great about their new look, some people are left feeling uneasy about the aesthetic effects of rapid weight loss and are choosing to make further surgical alterations.
GLP-1s are not just having an impact on beauty standards and waistlines. They have the potential to reshape countless industries and cultural norms. Food, most of all. Imagine if half the people in your neighborhood suddenly started eating way less. What would happen to your local pizza place or that ice cream shop on the corner? What would Thanksgiving look like? Birthday parties, happy hours. How would food conglomerates respond? Would they discontinue snack foods or create entirely new products targeted at GLP-1 diets? The answer is most likely all of the above. Everything is going to change, at least a little bit. When it comes to our health, our food system isn't doing us any favors. We have an abundance of cheap calories in our culture and an industrialized food system engineered to make us insatiable. So what happens when GLP-1s suppress the appetites of a large portion of the population? People eat less, that's obvious enough, but how much less? It's estimated that food intake will decrease by 3% in North America by 2030. That is all food, even the good stuff. 3% of the population, when we have around 345 million people, would equal roughly 10.3 million people. So that would be like if nearly everyone in New York City and Los Angeles combined stopped eating. In fact, GLP-1 users purchase around 8% less food than those who are not, particularly snack foods, soft drinks, and foods high in carbohydrates. That might not sound like much, but in the world of big food, it is huge, with revenue impacts in the billions. It's not just junk food that will be impacted. Our entire approach to nutrition could change. The authors of a paper in the journal Nutrients said something that really made me think. The drug may be so effective that the role of nutritional therapy may have to be redefined and a shift away from using nutritional therapy to achieve more weight loss to rather using nutritional therapy to achieve more health gain may be required. Health gains instead of weight loss. I love that idea. And it's already happening. We're only four years into mass adoption and Industries are repositioning themselves for a post-obesity world. In fact, Nestle has already released Vital Pursuit, a new frozen food brand of 12 portion controlled meals, high in protein and fiber. And other brands are following suit. And it's not just food that will need to adapt. As packaged food companies are losing customers, health and fitness clubs are gaining them. This new type of gym goer has different needs than your average member. They aren't necessarily joining to lose weight. They're there to maintain and gain muscle, since muscle loss can be a side effect of rapid weight loss. Then think of the spillover effects. More gym goers means more gym shorts, yoga pants, cross trainers, and headbands, boosting sales of athleisure apparel and footwear for fitness and athletic companies. Supplement companies have already begun producing products in support of GLP-1 users, while nutritionists and diet experts are crafting GLP-1 specific meal plans. All of this, the gyms, the clothes, the supplements, the diets, it's just the tip of the iceberg. We're watching entire industries reshape themselves around these drugs. And it makes me wonder, what happens when there are enough GLP-1s for everyone who wants them? When people who've struggled with their weight their whole lives suddenly have access, this isn't just a new diet trend. It may lead to a fundamental shift in how we approach health, weight, and how we see ourselves. GLP-1s are everywhere. You've probably seen articles, TikToks, Reddit threads, all buzzing about these drugs. Or maybe you know someone who's taking one. Either way, if you're like me, you can't help but wonder, what's the catch? For many, the answer is simple, side effects. But the reality is there's a lot more to GLP-1 side effects than meet the eye. So I sat down with Dr. Camila Ruiz.